Hi there, Lisa O'Neill here. One of the many questions I often get asked is what is a thought leader? Now there are so many answers to that question and one of my favourites has to be that thought leaders are intellectual property developers. So I like the um, analogy of a property developer as someone who converts ideas from paper to property and they manage the process of developing from the beginning to the end. And I reckon thought leaders are similar. So we convert our thinking into solutions. We manage the process of developing our thinking from a concept to a commercial outcome. So in a world where there has never been so many problems, I reckon it's a pretty good time to be a solution creator. There are literally solutions required everywhere. So I always ask people, what is the problem that your thought leadership solves? And then who has that problem? Our cluster strategy in the curriculum at Thought Leaders Business School combines a simple genius of an idea that someone values with someone who cares delivered in a way that works. So having an idea, finding someone who values that, and then finding a way to deliver it in a method that you and they both enjoy is an absolutely genius combination of ideas. I think there's nothing more rewarding than creating an idea that solves a problem. So many of us have changed the way we deliver our solutions over the last two years. The world has gone a little bit mad and we have had to pivot, I do not like that word, and change the way we do things. But I'm interested in how many of you have done an audit on the solutions that you are offering. How has the last two years changed the solutions that you offer? Who do you now work with? Who needs you right now? Who is someone that needs the solution that you are offering? And who has got the problems that your IP solve? These are great questions to consider when you're thinking about potential new markets. So the process of selling solutions has got generally four steps. The first step is you need to create it. You need the right offer. You need to decide on the message, the market, the mode, identify the value and identify the price. The more time you spend getting your offer right, the higher chance of success your cluster will have. The second step is you need to believe it. You need the right energy. Checking in with your belief, your conviction and how you are feeling is super important because I reckon the first sale is always to yourself. So make sure that you believe in the offer that you are presenting and that you believe in your ability to provide the value that you are claiming you provide. If you don't believe that you can provide the value you're claiming to, it will be very obvious and it will show up in your lack of conviction when you are in calls with potential clients. The third step is to offer it. So many people don't do this step. You need the right people. So find the people, the industries, the markets the, who have the problem that your IP can solve. And for some of us, this is really easy. Some of us have databases of clients. Some already have sales momentum. But if you are pre-momentum, you think you're starting from scratch. You're generally not. You do know people. You may not have a fancy CRM. You may not have a list with 2,000 names. But you know people. So quality is more important than quantity. Get really clear about who you know and map a path to some decision makers that have the ability to buy you. Now, the fourth step is you need to deliver it. You need to do the work. Now, we deliver in either speaking, training, coaching, authoring, facilitating or mentoring. So give your client amazing value through your delivery, and then ask for testimonials. Once you've done that, you get to repeat the whole process. You get to create more solutions. You get to develop more intellectual property. And after a while, you will get known for what you're doing and you will elevate through the belts in no time at all. So I love the quote, a problem is a chance for you to do your best. That's what we're talking about this week. I hope you've enjoyed this. See you soon. Bye.